the state-of-the-art single piston liquid cool engine. And not only that, it has also a 40% increase of airbox volume. It uses more torque. Who doesn't like more torque, right? Exactly said, 11 kilometers more top speed, not only because of the airbox, but of course also because of better aerodynamics. Let's come to the front part where a lot has been changed, such as the front light, completely redesigned LED technology, then it has integrated turn signal lights, which in my opinion really fits to the waistlines of the whole bike, and then also upgraded with the tail light with the new design. The tank has increased fuel capacity from 9.5 to 13.7 liters. More fuel means more riding and less top. New mirrors that can do that. The new seat is now way more comfortable than before. It has a nice new material that provides more grip in the wet conditions. Super soft. Also, the pinion seat is upgraded, it has more foam, which means more comfort for the passenger, and both have a new style upgrade and it looks way more racy. One of the things that I noticed in the past test days is how light this bike feels, especially in the corners. KTM managed to drastically drop the weight of this bike by redesigning the passenger footrest, the rider footrest, and reducing mass weight tones. 4 kgs and both feet together, less rotation of mass, which we all know means better riding characteristics. For me, that means be faster around the track and around the pool. Boom! And this new brakes works wonder, man. I was right when I saw the prototype picture of the new RC that the front disc looks completely different and as you can see it is like it was on the prototype so it's a redesign, it's 800 grams lighter and this is an important 800 grams because it's rotational mass again so it means we can move quicker to the corners and it gives me a really nice uh, brake feel with the 4 piston brake caliper radio on the front and also on the rear we have a redesign to brake disc 160 grams lighter again 130 millimeters and both brakes work perfectly. This bike also shows its race potential with the next upgraded feature. It has adjustable triple clamps. You can adjust them 10 millimeters on the height and you can adjust them on your preferred riding position so backwards or forward. In case if you wonder how it is, here in a full leather suit, in the middle of summer, with no shadow, exactly like this. Swaying all over the place. Okay, let's go to the next feature. The frame got also an upgrade. Now it has a bolt-on subframe, which comes in handy in case of a crash. So you don't need to change the whole frame, but just the part that has been bent, so it's way cheaper, of course. And the RC has another weight saving 